This is another episode of Off Air with Bimi and Tools. Hi guys. What language was that? That was Calabari. That's the name of the language? Yes. What part of the country? From River State. What is the capital? Enugu. <laughs> <laughs> um, so do you want to tell this? Okay, so... Zazu Singer. <laughs> first of all, I hate when Nigerian press says Kruna. He's not crooning. <laughs> okay? He's not crooning. He's yelling. <laughs> That's different. So Nigerian yeller. <laughs> Um, Portable uh, was nominated for uh, the Hedy's Awards um, in some categories. I think one or two. And he, he then went on to record this video where he was basically threatening his fellow nominees in the category saying that if he doesn't win, that he would harm them or something bad will happen to them. And the Hedys then decided to issue a statement about this. They reported into the police and they also said that he needs to retract his um, statement or... Um, they're going to disqualify him from the categories. I think he's on like some crazy stuff. <laughs> I <laughs> think he's drugs. I think he's not even, I think he, he probably has like a, a, let me, a specialist supplier. I'm going to say this and um, it's not even funny. If you are managing a talent or on the team of a talent and this talent is heavily dependent on some substances, you are you have a hand in killing that person mm. because you should do everything in your power. I know that again, it's hard to get people to rehabilitate themselves and so on and so forth. But if you continue to just encourage or yeah, providing them with these substances, you know, if anything happens to that person, their blood is on your hands. Okay, but, we've seen cases like your Amy Winehouses uh, and you know all of that. So I mean, but at the same time, at the same time, like they're adults. I've I've also heard situations where. Like an artist manager has tried and tried and, and so tried. Leave, leave. You know, but then they don't want to leave because at least they feel like they've known this person. They want to try to help, but this person's an adult. They're not trying to help. They're trying to what make you, money so on if, that. Okay, except for example, now I start managing an artist and mm-hmm. the artist is now heavily de- de- um, dependent on drugs. And I try, you know, consult with your family, push, try and get you clean. And you are still not trying to get clean. I will leave because I cannot in good conscience use that money from this drug mm-hmm. addict person. Let's call it a spade and then be using to pay my child's school fees. That's blood money. On the flip side, I do actually think that if you really, really, really really go in depth you actually find that artist managers probably have saved one or two artists lives oh yeah i'm not saying that they haven't saved i'm Mm. saying if you have tried to rescue this person from this harmful thing that they keep doing and they're not being responsive and you know that you don't agree with what they're doing maybe they're sniffing drugs shooting it whatever it is they're doing then leave you can't just sit down there and say well well, but we tried but at the end of the day the person should pass on you wear black and be crying on tv um on another note no, no, let me not say this is bad. No, say. Talk really? It. Are you talking? Talk Should I talk it? Talk it. So I was, I mean, the song Zazu, I was vibing to that and everything. You did? And I didn't. yeah. No, no, no. I don't like, for me, I listen to song. It doesn't necessarily mean like I have to like the person. I mean, there's certain, when I, when I was, you know, in the middle of the radio madness, I could play somebody's song every single day mm. and I didn't even know or care for the person. Mm. And that was fine by me. Mm. Um, But, you know, there was one time that I was, there was a big deal because he traveled to, was it Kenya or something? Mm-hmm. And then there were a whole Uganda. bunch of girls in the room. Was it Uganda? <laughs> it was Uganda. And there were a whole bunch of girls in the room and I was like... <laughs> They what? like what they like. They like mm-hmm. that? That's what they like. I think there's even been an incident of him like showing off, you know, talking about his uh, prowess. <laughs> Let, shall we move on? I'd have to drink that all for days. <laughs> wow. 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 <laughs> Hi, Off Air Gang. I need your opinion on this. Please keep me anonymous. I am in a long distance relationship. I went to see my boyfriend after almost a year apart. I noticed that he masturbated in the shower on day three, on day three together. When I asked, he first denied it because he saw that I was bothered. But after insisting, he confessed. I don't know why it's bothering me. Like, why would he masturbate instead of fucking me? We did have sex every other night, but not as many times as I was expecting, considering the fact that we've been apart Mm. for months. If he touched himself as a part of foreplay involving me, I'll be okay with it. I feel the the fact that he touched himself knowing that he could have fucked me shows that he prefers his hand instead of my 
Pussy. <laughs> LOL. I don't know if that makes sense. I did have a conversation with him and told him how I felt. He said I was wrong and that sex is great with me, but I'm not convinced. LOL again. Am I overreacting, overthinking? I masturbate too. When I'm when I masturbate, I'm alone. But if he's around, I'd rather be dicked down than using my toy. Please help. Is this normal? What do you think about this? I want the background men's opinion too. Is that something men do? Background men? <laughs> that LOL was like, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you want to masturbate well, I don't... when she's around? I don't... Somebody did that to me and once and I was very <laughs> offended. I was very offended. She's, she's around. You can't go how many so rounds. Why, why, would... now? why do you think? So, so, why would you? <laughs> With your short short I'm really distracted. <laughs> uh, okay, so have you guys ever done that? And what do you think? Seeing seeing as she wants the guys, you know, um, opinions. Have you ever done that? Number one and number two. What could be the reason from a from a man's point of view? What would be the reason? This is somebody. She's, she's, yes, this is somebody. She hasn't seen you. Guys haven't seen each other in a year. Almost a year. Almost a year. I so would, literally, all those you know, you probably have had phone sex. You probably you know. Skype sex, whatever, mm-hmm. and the person is there now, mm-hmm. and you are there, you know, with your, yeah. Pamela, I don't know. I, I, I don't That's think my I name. would. <laughs> 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 oh, you're Pamela. Pamela. <laughs> Why I don't understand that name. <laughs> you shouldn't have told us. Oh, <laughs> oh no, come on, Pamela. Pamela. <laughs> Pamela. No, okay, no, go on, go on. So, no, I, I don't have you ever I done would... that before? No. Have you ever done that before? Okay, when there's been a girl like ready, waiting, so warm, if this girl yeah. alive, was, a living girl. If she was your friend, what would you advise her to do? I guess he's just addicted to it. He's used yeah. to it. Yeah. He's used to it. He's addicted well, to it. Well, addicted to masturbating? Yes. Mm. Oh, wow. yes you You're addicted to... What? Why would you... Hmm. Yeah, some people are like... Whether, look. whether she's around or he... Or she's so it's around. not something about... He's something that he's used to. That yeah. Not, it's, a quick, it's a quick... It's a quick thingy in yeah. three minutes five minutes he doesn't so have to touch anybody he doesn't it. have to tweak any anything but, 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 but if you're if you're okay, if you're addicted to, to um okay as a guy i'm thinking that you'd need to think about you know maybe you'd watch a bit of porn you think about some naked girls and everything mm. you have a girl in the next room that's what that that's what i'm that's saying that's for to, to, to get that on he's not it's not that he's just gonna just go lift her and just go in there yeah. he I'm has sure to do a few things so he's like oh this one is shorter yeah and faster is it faster not all right, so I think I'm good. I think I would really like our um, male or fairy gang members to let us know their thoughts. Mm. Like, why have you ever done that, and what's the reason? Because obviously we aren't guys, That's so I'd like I to understand. Of, I'd like so. to understand like why, you know. I mean, if you're by yourself, no girlfriend, whatever, you know, you and Pamela all night. <laughs> wow, <laughs> well done. But you know, <laughs> if there's somebody there that's you know obviously is willing and she's not like and she's not like refusing, exactly. you know, she's not refusing him sex. Why would you want to masturbate over? You know, why would you want to masturbate over? You know. Mm. You know, like being with her. That's yeah, interesting. So I'd like to hear from our male viewers or listeners. Let us know what you think. Drop yeah. it in the comments below. Or DM us in case you don't want people to see what you're talking about. Yeah, we us, actually so. want to hear more from our, you know, male, male off-air gang people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, we love you too. All right, so we have got a special treat for you, off-air gang. We have got a super special performance from one of my favorite acts, Oiza and me. Enjoy. many times do I have to tell you your face don't match your attitude see what you think that you look like say 10 but you're really like a two can't believe I was in love with you do you remember about a year ago I shot my shots Sitting to your DMs with no response now. Valentine has passed over. Oh, hell, where is your girlfriend? Now you're sitting at home, lonely. Boy you said you didn't want me, and I think it's really funny. Cause if I stayed with you, our children for ugly. Boy, you said you didn't want me And I think it's really funny Cause if I stayed with you Our children for ugly 
Heard you got a new girlfriend And you calling her your boo Bros, make her give you news flash She's ugly too And your children no go cute Them go ugly just like you And you know that I'm a child of God Testify. So I had to tell the truth do you remember about a year ago I shot my shots Slid into your DMs with no response ha. Now Valentine has passed away <laughs> Look at him Where is your girlfriend? Now you're sitting at home Lonely Boy you said you didn't want me And I think it's really funny Cause if I stayed with you our children for ugly Boy, you said you didn't want me And I think it's really funny Cause if I stay with you Our children for ugly Therefore, yeah, yeah Therefore, what, what With your receding hairline and your square jaw Therefore, yeah, yeah, yeah. Therefore, what, what, what With your receding hairline and your square jaw Our children for ugly Our children for ugly Boy, if I stayed with you, our children for ugly. Boy, you said you didn't want me, and I think it's really for honey. Cause if I married you, our children for ugly. Our children for ugly. They would have been really ugly children. They would have been weird headed. They would have been weird like your. Mm. They would have had big noses. They would have had bulk teeth. They would have not been really that smart. My genes are not that strong to save our ugly children. If I would have married you, our children for what? Our children for our children for what? They would have been ugly. Um. All right. It is election season, and we've been seeing lots of nonsense. Um, especially if you're on Twitter, you see so many things, um, people doing so many things. There's videos, clips of people sharing money and all of that. Did you see the lady who was giving out 11M to her aides or something? It's, I was just cash it's, it's, or delegates. It's so, I don't know. It's so sad. Um, what I want to talk about though is how it's, it feels, we joked about this before, but it feels like everybody is running for office. Everybody. Like everybody is running for, and then. My favorite pastime is while driving, looking at the campaign posters and yes. laughing at some pictures. Like, like there's one lady in this local government that <laughs> I saw her pictures. She oh, looks oh. like a villain. She just stands. She's like this. <laughs> Who's gonna vote for you with that picture, sis? Like, like that, that photographer. Like, oh, give me, give me a strong face. Strong, strong face. face. She likes <laughs> like she looks like literally wicked. She looks wicked. Was she was she like doing <laughs> doing, doing portable strong face pose? I'm like, wow. 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 Yeah, I don't even so know. Um, okay, so my thing is there, like you, I agree with you. It feels like everybody is running for office number one, mm -hmm. and there's some people that they got um, they they got they won the primaries, and I was very very disappointed. Um, with everything that happened with Desmond Elliott, I don't know how he won. That auntie that they slapped, that Bianca slapped, mm. she won, apparently. Mm. Uh, all these random, random people. And you think about it and I'm like, okay, the people that have won their primaries that really shouldn't have won, how did they win? And it's so sad that a lot of this, I'm, I'm not going to mention any names, but... We all, we know that around this period, a lot of money exchanges hands, mm -hmm. a lot of money exchanges hands. And I'm thinking how much money could they possibly pay you? The fact that everything is not even double, it's more like triple the price, like food, so many things are triple the price. Like how, how is that money going to sustain you? You are speaking English because you are, that's what people are going to say as I'm watching it, because you know that you've never gotten to a point where you've opened your fridge and there's nothing there and it's not of your own will or what that is not it's not mm. that oh i've not just gone grocery shopping is that you just do you understand like you haven't been there it's in the trenches have you been in the trenches i yeah. have been in the trenches you've been you've opened your fridge and there's nothing there yeah is it because it was broken and there's no light no or something? <laughs> no do you understand um and so they would look at us and they say oh you are speaking from a a, a position of of um what's it called now what they privilege. call it privilege exactly these are people who don't know 
today is what I don't want to say what day of the week is it, but they don't know where what they're gonna have for dinner tomorrow or breakfast. Do you know what? So they rather take that money now. I would I would say no 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 because it's not just I'm not talking about the you know general public or whatever. Mm. There's some people that are involved that are already part of it that they're taking money not because they're broke. They're taking money because they're just greedy. Mm-hmm. These they're people that are taking money and they have full fridges. Mm-hmm. They have you know they they have the cars and everything, but they're just greedy. Mm-hmm. You know I've heard also stories and it just makes me so sad because i really feel like this country is really on the brink whoever is is voted for or whoever becomes the next president of this country they have the power to like honestly i feel like just break this country the fact that over the last few years you know terrorist attack after terrorist attack it just keeps happening and we're just used to it we're numb and i there there was one day i was thinking about i was like this is actually not a, the right way to live mm. because we that we live in certain areas, we can kind of just say it's over there, but it's not that far away. Yeah. It's not that far away. When things started happening in Abuja, I mm. got really, really scared. I got really, I was scared before because I was like, what the hell is going on? But everybody, you want to find, you want to find a state of mind that kind of gets you comfortable. Do you know what I mean? Where you're not constantly living in fear, mm-hmm. but it's not that far. And then you don't even know what's going on. Security is one of the biggest issues we have in this country. And I think over the last eight years, it's just gone to shit. If I'm going to be very honest, it's gone to shit. Listen, and you know, on so Adney Routy Way in 2022, oh they bitch. killed somebody, set this person on fire. Stuff that okay. you know was stuff that I used to see in like did my you, you know my him? childhood. TK, did you not know him? I knew him. I know someone who knew him. Like he but was. Yeah, I know someone he's who went off. It's it's. I just I'm just like like that's crazy. But, but I, people are. I I just hmm. and I think that's the only reason why I like this whole thing of bikes not functioning anymore yeah. in certain local governments because I mean although some people say it's tribalism. The bulk of these guys who are doing this bike thing are because from you know these from. regions where they are not even. You know, when tools were saying terrorists, when it's them, when it's the Boko Harams, they they say insurgency. Mm-hmm. They use all these fancy words. When it's the boys who are like from the Niger Delta in my area, they were called militants. And the truth is, I'm not supporting them, but at, at some point we could understand what the fight was. They were kidnapping people and returning them at some point. They were saying, oh, it's because we want this. You come, you take our oil, you don't give us mm. that. Why, is, why are they killing people like these Boko Haram guys? See, saying, well, it's, 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 I, I, I think I was reading something where they actually said that, um, is it, was it Nigeria is one of the worst countries or Lagos is one of the worst cities or whatever to live in. And I was reading the different reasons, you know, the security was, was top. Security was top. And, um, See, think about it this way. So you, if you're watching and maybe somebody has just given you money to, okay, you know what, let me, you know, whatever. Think about it, right? You probably have children and okay, most of you, maybe your children are near abroad or whatever, but think about it. Think about the opportunities that, um, that you're taking away from young people in this country. There are a whole bunch of, right now, everybody's still doing Africa's the future, Africa's the future. Nigeria should be like the number one country circled when you're talking about that. But because of security, I will yeah. say again, it pains me. It still pains me that Twitter is in Ghana because really and truly, Nobody chats more shit on Twitter than Nigerians. I just so really, true. we deserve headquarters here. But some people will be like, so what will my turning it down do? Others will chop money and no go chop. And then what? I'm being superhero in one the corner. People, the, people that are, you know, the people that are, my thing is, the people that are running for office, like there's a certain, you know, I mean, when I say this, you guys will know who I'm talking about. But there's a certain um, uh, presidential candidate that he did something that I find it unforgivable unforgivable um poor the that young lady that was killed because you oh, know yeah, the because of blasphemy not only did he tweet and delete it he later put out a statement saying oh there was some tweet that was put out but it wasn't from me and everything and i'm like do you guys know what I that mean, means do you guys know what that means this person consider where we are right now consider where we are in this country with regards to security this person was not able to with his own chest stand up and just say what happened was wrong. wrong. It should not have happened. I have, I have in my family, I've got Muslims, I've got Christians. We all eat together. Whether it's Salah, whether it's Christmas, we all come together, you know, it's, yeah. So I'm just like, 
why is it that you could not with your own chest say this is wrong it should not have happened because and they stood won't back by him it. when it's time for they elections so do we him. do we need that kind of person in power you know the thing is i don't think they even realize it's getting closer to home a couple of weeks ago in the east they killed someone in office They've been killing people story. in office. They've been so killing it's, people it's in office. It's funny that these guys have the audacity to think that this security thing doesn't affect them. Anyways. They will get to that point. Mm. All I all I'll say is just you know I mean elections next year things are hotting up. Everybody, Go get your PVC guys. Get your oh I was going to say PVC, get your PVC. Yeah. <laughs> Find a way to if it's Bene Republic or something. Oh, just you know ready up. Ready up. They'll close. Ready up. They'll close <laughs> watching. I'm not guys. joking. I remember when I was in uni there. Um, the last election. No, the first one, 2015, they shut their borders. That day, they, they warned us. They said, if you cross over in Nigeria, you stay there. Not enter here. The election finish. Because, I mean, <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Let me just make sure I have, like, all our passports are valid and everything. And maybe I even put, like, a little, what's it called, hand luggage in my, you know, whatever. Your house. I'm, I'm a shout, y'all, when I get there. <laughs> wow. I'm going to send you postcards. Okay, so a few weeks back, we didn't talk about this, actually, but it was it was a big thing on social media. Um, so a few weeks back, mm-hmm. there was this lady that went to a particular restaurant in, um, in Lagos, mm-hmm. and she was mortified uh, by the price <laughs> of a dish. Um, it was a lobster lobster linguine and it was like I think 40k and stuff mm. and people were like and she was like oh my gosh I can't believe they charged me this much blah 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 but she said it tasted nice um, so but I the, the portion was small yes the portion so was that's small. What, I think that was her main yeah I think that makes that the, which no, she says go do penny pasta <laughs> You know what? To be honest, no, no. to be honest, if I'm paying, if I'm, I, I, I didn't like the way people just kind of shut her down for having an opinion. That was her money. Well, possibly her money. Um, and, and if if I'm spending, if I'm spending money somewhere, I have the right to say, you know, this was nice, but the portion was a bit small. I, I am, I like, you know, I like fine dining. I like going out and everything. And one of the issues I have with um, Lagos restaurants, a lot of restaurants in Nigeria, is I understand. Because the owner of the restaurant, um, you know, we know Tracy, she kind of came out and she kind of just said, okay, look, this is how difficult it is to run um, a, a, restaurant a, food, in Lagos. a food business in Lagos, blah, blah, blah. She gave a breakdown and everything. And I was like, okay, you know what? That's a lot. My thing is, if you're going to charge somebody, a, a if you're going to charge like an expensive price for a certain dish, let it be amazing. I went to a restaurant the other day and um I was I looked at the menu and <laughs> I saw steak for 98k. Are you serious? Yeah, 98k. I was like 98,000. I was like, but I away from No, no, no. you're for you to be No, stop. 98k. 2k away from 100,000 for meat. Yeah. The other one is wanted. So how I much is know. how much is how much is a cow? How much is a whole cow? Yeah. I don't know. Like is it two fifty? Yeah. No, but they will say that oh no, that the meat is imported from SA or from what this. Or how from much that. is how much? Is, you know that our local cow meat is better, better. than SA meat and all those sales. Uh, Are you ones. sure? Because it's, it's organic. It's organic. It's organic. It's organic. <laughs> no, but you know that apart from organic, Don't but you know that they, they they actually they actually do certain things, you know, to these cows. Not necessarily. Yeah, no, no, no. You but know, like you know, feed them. Oh, grass. You know our, our, Zena, you know our cows have tricked. That's what I'm telling you. You tried and tested. No, sometimes they're quite tough. Have you ever eaten like party fried meat? Understand that sweet, juicy. Look at it. What's the difference? But this, this is. I didn't. I didn't. And sometimes they're lying about the cut. They'll tell you it's um, T bone and all of that. And when they bring it, it's it's really not some flabby looking piece of. so my thing is, my thing is, if you're going to, I was, I thought about it because I was like, oh, I haven't had steak in a while. And then I was like, mm, you know what? Let me not end up fighting. You actually considered it. Uh, because I... The 1% <laughs> or the 1%. Bling Lego shit. When it is sad to ease the rich. Ease the rich. Ease the rich. Wow. Ease the rich. Please, who you should you guys come can from. Cover my bum bum. I can use, I can use a little bit of it. You can cut from my bum bum. Eat the rich. Wow. Tools is out there. For the fact it's that you true. went out. So you are going to train. But to be honest, nah, to be honest, I wasn't paying. So It doesn't matter. <laughs> doesn't matter. <laughs> Your church mind. You know what I mean? I wasn't paying. So because it was my first time there, I was like, okay, you know what? Let me just, so I don't end up fighting. Let me just, you know, take something that I'm like, okay, this one I can manage. So I ordered like a, um, I ordered like a curry. 
and, and I got it. And I'm just like, huh? I'm like, this is like stew. This is like stew. And I tasted it. And you know what it tasted like? Um, you know, people make stew differently. Um, stew or soup, whatever you want to call it. So some people, they'll add like, you know, curry powder. It tasted like curry powder, you know, like stew with curry powder. Cool. You see, with Lagos restaurants, there are three things I order. And if you like, make fun of me because they made fun of girls that go to restaurants and order creamy pasta. Creamy pasta. Even even creamy pasta. There's wait, some restaurants that don't wait, get it right. Wait. Two. Eh? Lamb juice. chops. Okay, lamb chops. It's okay. And uh, mashed potatoes. <laughs> mashed potatoes. It's okay. I, and then three. <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe steak. After steak. that, no, 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 anything you I order don't do, I don't... out of those three things, whatever you see, that's your business. No, what I, I think is, I think because is, I think because yeah. you know I I because I like cooking not every day but I like cooking and I I watch all these things and I see how they make it. There was one there was one restaurant that I went to um, at um, Equa Atlantic and. I was, so I ordered salmon. Everybody knows. If you follow me on Instagram, you know I love salmon. I love, love salmon. I, had to, I ordered salmon. And the thing is, this That's is... That's the thing that people call salmon. Just salmon. to let you know now that, that the L is silent. The L the is L, silent. The L is salmon. salmon. Anyways. Salmon. So basically, salmon. you know when they take the the, the um, salmon and then they they fry it and they press and they turn and they press. So it's now like uh, salami. You know, so no, no, no. It's, it's dry. Like Pala. It's, it's, dry. it's dry. So they brought it, and then they kind of had, you know, put all these things, and I didn't like it. And I will say to you, I will tell that I didn't like it, and I just won't go back. You know, because some people are like, oh, they'll spoil your food. I just don't go back. Um, so I just said to the guy, the waiter, I was like, you know what? And I and I didn't blame him because I'm like, he's not the one that cooked it. But I was just like, this wasn't very nice. It wasn't flavored nice and everything. So um, <laughs> I complained about that one. Then I was there with my uh, my husband and he had like some, what did he have? So I had some chicken or like some steak, some um, calamari sticks or whatever. And they had deep fried the deep, deep. Chris, oh, John, correct. I'm pulling it like this, and I and I said I didn't like that as well. And this guy is gonna look at me. This waiter is gonna look at me and say, "Madam, perhaps I should bring you jollof fries. Maybe that will suit your palate." Yay! I said, wow. "Excuse me, excuse me. You need to tell your chef that they can't cook for shit. What is this?" Yeah. So I just. So the waiter said to you <laughs> that you are bush, auntie, you are bush. I actually have to start laughing. Like, I had to start laughing. Going to go to like, the fine dining restaurant. Like, <laughs> See, um, they used to be this He's this blog. I don't know if they're still um in existence. Oh, like, I used to read them. I read them know, as before well. going yeah, out so to I a know, new place. Yeah. I don't know if they're still they there still or whatever. And it used to be so funny because they would go and they would re they would review, review. the meals. They would mm-hmm. talk about they would talk about everything from if there's parking, parking all and like all that. that. And sometimes the restaurant owners and their family members will come and fight in the comments. It would be so funny. Yeah. I, there was this one restaurant that disgraced me. Hmm. In 2018, my friends from America, Omrika, came for my wedding. And I wanted to show them a good time. And then we were in Lekki. It was traffic, a lot of traffic. And there was this restaurant my friend kept talking about. It's at the end of Admiralty side. It's right on Admiralty. Does it have something that rhymes with farming? Anyway. <laughs> so we got there. <laughs> so they ordered different things. And, you know, I ordered, I always like, my favorite dessert is, you know, that's, you know, like a chocolate cake with ice cream on the side or like lava cake. So <laughs> guess, <laughs> get, guys, 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 guess what came first? <clears throat> they brought the dessert first. No. Before I they, swear no. to God, my own dessert, they brought it first. And I was like, um, what's the problem? They said, oh, I thought you wanted it now. I said, so what about my main course? They said, they're making it. I said, but I never asked you. I said, you know what? It's okay. Before they go and spit inside, let me cook who eats it. The, the cake, if I stone you with the cake, you'll be annoyed. <laughs> and then the ice cream eh, was cheap ice cream. That brand that they sell in traffic. Oh my God. The yeah. one that is the cheap when it's hot. The guy's on the bicycle. When it's hot. Like, you know. It rhymes with man. Mm-hmm. That one. I was I was so disappointed. Ah, it was terrible. See, How I, do you I dessert first. This, I, 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 I understand. I understand. I but, you know, at restaurants also, I try not to say too much. My lot to toss in one jail for me. <laughs> Meaning, but but you, but me, me, I complain at the end. I complain oh, at the end. Oh, oh, but have you, have you watched this show that they put oh, in the camera? Yeah. Yeah. Either they spit or they semen or there's something. I beg go. Or what? they rub the meat on the floor. Mm-hmm. And then yeah. well, I, compl- I complain at the end. I go, like when they say it was everything nice, I'm like, no, actually, this mm-hmm. was not this, was, mm-hmm. this wasn't nice. But I get, I get that, you know, I mean, I, I know a few, a few people that have like restaurants and everything, and it's not easy. It's mm-hmm. not easy. It's and, hard. 
And the thing is, a lot of um, what what I think happens in Lagos is because everybody likes to feel a monk, mm. you know. So there's this new restaurant. Everybody goes there, picture, 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 and everything. And they don't even. Uh, I don't know how many people actually go there for good food. They go there to take pictures and stuff. So yes. I think that's why there's certain restaurants that can get away with giving you and rubbish. And it's because people keep going. I, I have two instances. It was my friend's birthday on a Tuesday, and um, she was having it in VI uh, dinner or something. So and the restaurant was on the street of many other restaurants. There's one restaurant that, I mean, one street that has like four restaurants on it in VI. As I drove past all these restaurants on a random Tuesday, Mm -hmm. it wasn't a holiday or anything. No, all of them were full. There was no parking. In fact, even the one she was going to, I was going to, I had to park down, down to walk. I said on a random Tuesday. Ah. Then a few weeks ago, um, Oga says, Oh, let's go do brunch. We haven't done brunch in a while. Let's go do brunch. I said, Oh, there's lots of places in, v- in VI. We went to so many places. Everywhere was packed. Uh, Everywhere was packed. We spent an hour driving around from 11 to 12. Every mm. So it's like, because they're still in business, they yeah, feel that they yeah. don't need to improve. They don't. I, I have a theory. I reckon that there's certain restaurants that spend, because you know they say if, you're, if you go to Lagos restaurants, you're paying more for the ambiance and everything yes, than ambience. anything. So I feel that a, a lot of, um, okay, I feel that certain restaurants in Lagos, mm-hmm. they spend more money on the ambiance <laughs> than the than, But it than was the food. one person you know that, that started ambience, that. Ambience. You know that ambience. ambiance. It's like they deal with two interior decorators, Nordic, gold lighting. They are even using the same plates these days. I just complained. And I mean... At just, the end of just the day, one of my ambiance. Just follow one of my one it's of my ambience. one of the interests. Oh, I've got two experiences. Um, uh, this was like when I first moved. So I think this was like um, I moved uh, back in two thousand nine. So I think this may have been two thousand ten. And I just you know I didn't know that many places. And you know there was one place that everybody's like go here. And I went there one day and I can't remember what I wanted. They're like ma, there's no. I think I w- wanted like a um. I can't remember ma, there's no cook. There's no, and I was like, okay, what about this? Oh, there's no this, there's no that. I'm like, they shop right, right there. Why didn't so, literally, we don't have, we don't have, we don't have. Then there was another place. Um, I like my cocktails. There was another place that I went to and I was like, I think I wanted like a pina colada. Mm. And this bartender, they bring it and I'm just like, hmm, it's an interesting color. Because your <laughs> pina coladas are like, it's not supposed to be like white, 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 white but it's supposed yeah, to be, yeah, you know, off white. But it was like a yellowy, you know. <laughs> oh, oh, and I was, no, 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 no. Like <laughs> so, so I now was like, hmm, okay, maybe, I don't know. So I, I tasted it and I was just like, what is this? So the person I was with, I kind of was like, taste it. And he's like, that doesn't taste right. And I'm just like, this bartender made me pina colada with evaporated milk. Listen here. Yeah. Let me just tell you something now. And wait, wait, wait. And I went to the guy. I called him. I said, this is not a pina colada. Ma, what do you mean? I've been a bartender for 10 years. And I'm like, they don't make pina colada with Maybe evaporated a milk. Bad bitch. Wow. Let me tell you something. <laughs> Once you go somewhere and you say, I'd like a mojito. And I say, mojito. Mojito. Just go. And, and pizza. Just go. Uh. <laughs> but well, like, guy, but, but when I said pina colada, the guy didn't seem, he didn't seem mm-hmm. confused. So I was confident that, okay. And I was like, Baba, I was like, you to taste it. You tasted it. It, and I'm just like, that means you've never tasted a pina colada. It yeah, tasted yeah. off. You know what? I just have to say, and I'll say it again. I understand that having, you know, to be honest, really owning a business in this <laughs> yes, country yes. is not easy. No, no, no. Because it's not easy. It's not. Having a business in this country is not easy. But if you have like a restaurant business, make it make sense. Make it make sense. So, you know, let let people, even if it is a bit expensive, even if it's one of those things that they, they you know, you go to maybe once a year or something, make sure the food is on point. So have regular tasters and, you know, just, yeah. All right. Right, so um, right, all right, all right. The past few days, social media has been hot I with um, <laughs> our anybody? real housewives <laughs> have been setting the place ablaze. So let me start from I think it was episode eight that aired yes. on Friday, and um, it was basically a meet. Okay, it started out with it was you know, mad. <laughs> no, first, first, let's not let you know the goodwill you know get overshadowed they showed um Chioma's foundation doing uh, nice things the good way foundation doing nice things for the community um empowering women giving them as much as 200 250k 150k to you know help their businesses so that it was emotional and everything was one of the women lost a child yeah all of that and then 
we quickly moved to this meeting that was that uh, called. Had, yeah, yeah, Auntie Yabo had called this meeting. She said, don't call Auntie. Okay. I even saw her the other day. She was trying to get me to follow her to sip. I was like, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. <laughs> anyway, cut long story short. Um, and they called this meeting because of the insults that um, Laura and Caroline were flinging at each other in the group chat. In case you missed uh, episode seven, Miriam had invited them to dinner at her house. They came, they were all there except Shoma and Caroline right. who came there really late. I think they were invited at, for they were supposed to come at 1 p.m. and they came at 9 p.m. or something. I don't understand what, why they were taking that long. But um, as soon as they walked in, Iyabo spoke to them, especially Choma, telling her about her lateness. They talked about it and Choma was like, okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, Laura was acting really weird. You know, she was muttering, saying things, closing I'm her bored. eyes. She was really, she was even saying she was bored. Um, apparently, they showed this part, but apparently she was even complaining about the food and everything. But after dinner, which was prepared by a real chef, after Shout dinner, out, <laughs> after dinner, they went upstairs to, to Miriam's rooftop and they, they were singing karaoke and Laura was even dancing and shaking bum bum. Next day, she sends this text uh, on their group chat saying, you know, next time when you guys say that you're, we're going to have an event, I'll first of all put my children to sleep first before coming because I know that people are going to come late. Uh, we have things to do. If not for this show, I would have walked away. I would have left by seven. And Caroline fires back and says, in real life, you and I would never be at the same dinner table. And then, boom, they start insulting each other. You got a pig. You were pimped. Wanting, wanting. I was just like, see, at the end of episode seven, I was holding my chest. Lo and behold, I did not know. Episode eight was episode eight be was pure crazy. fire. Yo. And then apparently, so then we see this episode, and then we see um, Laura before this, you know, meeting, telling her husband about how the reason why Caroline was saying that she was pimped. She said that um, she went to, that her husband she said, you dropped me. Can mm-hmm. I remember you dropped me now that you dropped me at uh, at some hotel in 2017. Some governor came to town. I was selling my book. I went up to sell my book. He bought two copies and that was it. And Caroline was in the room. But now she claims that she claims that I was um, being pimped. Okay. So Caroline maintains that she was being pimped. Laura insists that she was not being pimped and is being back and forth. You know, anyway, they get to this meeting. Oh, and then you know, they start talking to Laura saying she shouldn't have sent that message, especially because everybody said their piece at the dinner table that day, the night before, that there was no reason for it, blah, 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 and everything. And then Laura was like, oh, you shouldn't, shouldn't take offense from it. I didn't insult anybody. I was just saying that next time I will take my time and come in. Da, 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 da. Anyway, cut long story short, um, Caroline was like, who, how did they even start? I shall know that they were charging at each other like they were she, supposed to fight. Again, it went to again it went to um, Laura's sister, and she said, "Say say something about my sister one more time." So I will say this because I watched the last like sort of twenty minutes. I watched like about two times. I even was like, "Come come 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 watch this with me." Um, and one thing I was not expecting, like the dragon fire from Caroline. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, and um, I, cause, because literally Laura was like, say that again. And kind of would be like, I'm saying it again. You know, so there are a few times um, she did that. And the oh, crazy no, thing- No, Laura poured water. She threw water. Oh, she, she threw opened water. The, she yes, opened yes. The, there was a plastic uh, bottle she, of water. She opened the cap and threw water on Caroline. Caroline, Caroline threw missed. a glass, bro. Yes, and she was going to throw another glass. She threw a glass. She nearly glassed her. Like, yeah. that could- she, well, like, But she oh, said, but, but Caroline actually said, I'm going, to, I'm going to leave a scar on your face. <laughs> See- Oh but you know it, it was crazy and it then was. Laura had removed earrings she was like oh I'm removing my earrings you know because it's about to go down bro her okay. wig fell off shoes you know, were, shoes were off um, is it she uh, had a cape on. Show, cardigan that came off wig came off earrings and everything but what I didn't see is like nobody threw a punch well mm-hmm. you know what I think I feel like if anybody was trying to scar anyone Laura would be okay she would heal her wounds Caroline, that her entire existence is based on her beauty, they scratch her face. Hmm. Plastic I don't surgeon, think... No. no. Ah, but can I say... Can I say... The funny... The funny... The funny parts were when... Um, when um, Toyin and Yabo were talking about the fight. Like, they're not no, fighting. No, that's not how you fight. You know... And you know, you know how... You know what it reminded me of? You know how, like, you have those people that... Commentators. They, they, no, 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 no. The people that... Um, they act like they want to fight, but they'll tell their friends, call me back, call me back. Don't, 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 you know, and the friends like, no, leave me alone. 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 Leave me
me now. Get, get, I want to fight you. Know? One thing <laughs> so I don't understand is why like Miriam bitch. jumped in front of Laura. La- Miriam was wearing this halter top, no back. Um, or that's how the top. She, she landed told on us. The floor. She actually oh, mentioned yeah. this when she came here. She was she was jumping like she was saving them from a bullet. <laughs> like no. <laughs> but the crazy thing is, in the in the me- in the madness of it. Everybody forgot the Miriam was on the floor. She's just there like, help me. My titties, my titties, my titties, my titties, my titties. And I was just like, till, till Tony ended up pulling her up. And I'm like, you know what? Next time, turtle neck or whatever. Next time you want to separate fights, be appropriately dressed for it because yes. they can neck at you. But they had bouncers there now. I mean, I'll just be like, ah, are you guys okay? I mean, I don't separate fights so before you go and go for Before the, the blow connects with your face. always you, you know, that chops yeah. it. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Or you have people that are so crazy, they'll now turn on you that's trying to separate them. You know, and I'm anyway, like, ah. Social media was a god. People were like, oh, Caroline maintaining beauty, wanting, wanting. Because she was wearing glasses, she was wearing black, she was wearing like six inch heels. People were like, you know, she, you know, she came and she still maintained beauty. Da, 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 da. People were, you know, going back and forth. Uh, lots of people have been against Laura from the get go because of a lot of people. Were f- a lot of people were for her because yeah. um, I was I was checking out some of the comments on Twitter and a lot of people were like that they felt that that whole meeting she was ganged up against. Yeah, she was ganged up against. You know, see, okay, I'll say this, and uh, there was a spaces that I, that I joined, a, a Twitter spaces that I joined, and I was like, please, 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 can we not? make this like we fans or we you know watchers of the show please let us not make this a, a, a um let's not turn it into a toxic e- environment like mm, big brother yeah. has been mm, yeah let mm. us be able to say okay i like what she did this week but two weeks ago that mm. was messed up or mm, let yeah. us be able to be honest mm, and everything mm. i'll say this like from the beginning from the get-go laura has had like quite you know negative energy for everyone and there was this whole you know what i'm not friends with them i don't like them and everything i'm like look at the end of the day let's be honest right this is a reality show you quite there, there's a good chance that you know some of you are not friends but i think it should be you should give it a chance like okay are we let me at least try to get along with this person but it seemed like she had like a problem with almost everyone yeah i mean even though this comes from if you if you're also following on twitter it's beginning to make sense to me toy lawani yeah, definitely said some shit to her. about Caroline. Yes, yeah, but yeah. beginning to make but it sense. Does, but you know, she mentioned that in the beginning, in episode yes. one, she said she was surprised to see Caroline at the events because. Tony has said some stuff about her to Caroline, but that's not even the point. For example, Caroline had all that anger towards her because because of, you know, the whole blog situation. But you know what? From the beginning, she was cordial. She didn't come at her. Do you yeah. understand? That's yeah. one thing I'll give Caroline credit for. Mm. You know, she she okay. You are not my favorite person, but I'm gonna just be respectful and say hello yeah. and leave it at that until, you know, katakata bust. Uh-huh. Let's you actually good point because it was um, yes. I think what happened is I think Laura probably knew about Caroline and Toyin's differences, mm-hmm. and Toy being her friend, she had her friends back, which is mm-hmm. which is which is you know which is fair. But you're on a show. I think it would have been better to go in there to just be cordial. Yeah. And, and she was the first person to say, "I'll slap, her, I'll slap her." So if somebody that I'm not particularly like a fan of or whatever, if we're on a project together, I will do my best to try and be cordial. I'm not going to be like, "Oh, let's be friends, come to my house, or whatever." Mm-hmm. I will try and be cordial. But if I then hear that you're saying I'm going to slap, slap me. me I'll be like are you you know so for, honestly it was it was it's entertainment and that's why we're watching it let's be honest that's why we're watching it but for me I ve- I felt very very uncomfortable when the curses started oh I didn't I did. like that I you oh, yeah. die an, an, an untimely death you your, do, children. your children I think yeah, that she is, went, that's Laura was saying that right yeah Laura started saying that and I don't like that and then, I didn't hear and the then, children part um, Car- oh, Caroline was Caroline was you know said that as well and I'm just like oh, mm, it just it just was that was when I was just like okay this is too much this this is a show there's part two of this just too because so we watch that the show comes out on friday we watch that from insta um, twitter is agog with oh my god who won the fight this and that and your then, husband times a million no. I was like, ah, <laughs> oh yeah caroline said that um laura feeds her husband or something like and that. that's when laura and then laura was like say my mother one more time and caroline said your husband times a million and then there was oh you know people were holding her back yeah, and then you know then she had her own <clears throat> then she had her own with Tony because she felt like Tony didn't have her back yeah and Tony was like I'm not gonna have your back if you're doing something wrong that's not what friends do and then um we wake up on Saturday morning 8 a.m Saturday morning and we that see fight? insults apparently there what was either a space or something on Clubhouse on where she said a few Clubhouse things 
Wow. And um, so apparently to, um, Tony heard and started coming at um, Caroline. Well, Caroline said a few things or Tony yes, said a few no, things. Caroline said a few things. What did she say? Allegedly. I don't know. I didn't hear it. Okay. Alle- allegedly. And then they started insulting each other and the allegations were nasty. Allegations of lesbianism, allegations of jazz, jazz. allegations boys, yeah. of... What is a chronic lesbian? I was so offended by that, by the way. If you think you're dissing people, sorry. What is a you. chronic lesbian? Yeah, no, she's what trying to it? say that, oh, you know, maybe this lesbian this oh, thing is yeah. over your head, you mm. can't oh, stop. you were trying yes. to sleep with me. Oh, you slept with my man. Yes, oh, then, you know, it, it just became jazz. really... I was it, embarrassed. It became... It, that, I it was became so embarrassed. Uh, very it was messy. So it, w- it was. It was very. And what I don't like is how it just became a. You slept with this person. You did this. Your. Yes. You know. And it was. After, it was very uncomfortable. I found it very uncomfortable. So I just stopped reading. I was like, okay, this is a bit much now. This is like it just did not need to descend mm. um, into this. And I think. Um, is it somebody? Is it Caroline deleted her tweet? Yeah, she said tweets and posted a nice picture. I said, "Oh, peace be unto everyone," or something like that. I think she. I think she. I think she's some, quite messy. I she think she's is, very messy. In that clubhouse, she said something about the producers of the show. Something I showed her. She was going to meet women of caliber, like women in tech and oil and gas. And I was looking at her like, "You really think that?" <laughs> And, and we were the women we on rural be, side of Atlanta they in tech and one and gas and is it your kind of and, realty, <laughs> realty what's that business <laughs> digging and, and the, uh, the question still stands <laughs> the question really, still stands because she, she insisted that she wasn't paid Oh, she spent 30 million of her money. Allegedly, right? she said she spent 30 million of her money on clothes and designer stuff. I said they, she wasn't paid. And, and that she wasn't paid, that she was paid, that they said, oh, they promised her an honorarium and, 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 and she, she wasn't paid because they couldn't afford her. I don't believe that. Do you believe that? Why? Why would you, like, no. I'm sure, I think I think she definitely got paid. And um, I was, I was, if I'm it's sure that I was not, If it's that you are not satisfied with what they paid you, then say that. Exactly. But, but then why would you do it if you're not satisfied with what they paid you? I was on a space and then um, one of the producers, Dario, was there and they asked him because a few people were like, okay, she said she wasn't paid. And he said that you guys have to wait till the reunion, reunion show to, you know, find out and everything. But I, I'd be very, how can they, like, shooting those kind of shows are very, very, very demanding. <laughs> shooting those shows are very, very demanding. It takes a lot of time. It takes, if you have business, it, you, it takes time from your businesses. I would be very surprised that anybody would do that and not get, why Why would you do it? For uh, what? For, what for one piece? Yeah, after the first episode that the show is so toxic for her. She even called out Choma, by the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she said that they're she not friends anymore. Betray, that she blocked, betray, she blocked her. Yeah, she blocked her. Um, now people had had stuff to say about Chioma because they said oh, that she was sneaky. There was, there she was. was if you if you were what if you watch carefully, like I said, I watched like the last 20, yeah, 25 minutes was... a few times. When they started, they now um, pan to um, Chioma and she's there like, like she has my, a little smile yeah. on her face. When yeah. when um, Caroline and Laura was go and watch it again. When Caroline and Laura started fighting, mm. she had a little smile on her face. Mm. And people were like, oh my gosh, she's sneaky. That she's and then um Miriam said that she's very cool. she's very calculating and everything. <sighs> what do you think? I do think, I do think that um a few times Chioma has done one or two things. Like, you know, when you you know light the flame and you're like and you just quickly run away. I mean, so. she said, okay, that Caroline said um Chioma told her that Laura was going to was going to target them so that she can increase followers and then Laura was like if they add Trauma's followers Everyone. and they add Caroline's the yeah, yeah and they add Caroline's followers even plus their followers followers they don't reach my own I was like okay okay, <laughs> hey, okay. <laughs> so that's them um, and then uh, Trauma was trying to be like oh no I didn't say that but then in the next episode it's show you know they show you like clips from the next Good. episode Chama says to Caroline, "You are an alak, you are an nah. You 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 threw me under the bus. You said some things I told you. You went to say it there, and then Caroline was like, "Oh, sorry." So did she actually say it? Apparently, oh. that pair so. Okay, well, mm. you know. Anyhow, this Watch is out. interesting. Uh, Watch the next episode. <laughs> so on that note, we shall bid you farewell. But before we bid you farewell, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube subscribe, channel. Subscribe, like, comment, send to your your friends and family. Share the link everywhere. Thank. Thank you. Yes, and and uh, off air gang, the male members, please let us know your thoughts about the fan mail that we mm-hmm. discussed earlier. Mm-hmm. I'd really, really like to know what you guys think. Pamela. <laughs> Pamela. <laughs> Actually, I said that. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. <laughs> so, Smile for me. <laughs> Maybe. She just does not say that. Wow. Smile. All right. Have a fantastic week. Go go and visit a Lagos restaurant. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Enjoy. Bye. <laughs> Hi, I'm Bemi. Hi, I'm Tools. If you absolutely love that episode, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's just right there. You're not going to yeah. die, we promise. Click just click button. right there. Click, just click. Press the button. Thank press you. It. Subscribe. Press Tell it. your family and friends. Press too. the button. Thank you. Bye.